My name is Emily Lomas. I'm a snake researcher here at the uh, Incomeep Desert Cultural Centre. Where we are right now is um, what's called Canada's Pocket Desert. This is shrub step habitat. There's lots of sagebrush, uh, antelope brush, and we often find snakes underneath the antelope brush because those seeds of the antelope brush do provide food for rodents. Western rattlesnakes in Canada are listed as threatened federally and in BC they're on the blue list which means they're special concern. The main threats to rattlesnakes in this area is uh, habitat fragmentation and higher habitat use by, by people who also live here and also persecution as well. A brief overview of my research would be uh, researching rattlesnakes here in a Soyuz and seeing what migratory routes they're using. Also taking a look at their body condition, their sizes, um, and different areas that they live. Some live closer to human development, some live further away, and we're taking a look at that. And also seeing how some snake fencing and things that snakes encounter on their migratory routes, see how that might affect them and if they can navigate around those. Even if we don't use all of the habitat that the snakes can use, it might be fragmented into pieces. They may have to cross roads, vineyards, uh, to get where they used to go. So even if their eventual destination is still there, if their migratory route is impeded, then they can't get where they want to go or they can't get back, and that's a problem. We don't know a lot about what the actual long-term effects are on some of these snakes from human disturbance. They might not be reaching ages um, as great as other snakes in other areas, and therefore they're not, uh, over the course of their lifetime, reproducing as much. And they do have a very slow reproductive rate, so that can affect the population as well. You can't just take a rattlesnake and move it elsewhere. It will likely die. It needs to be able to find its way back to the den that it always uses. So it's really important that we protect those areas. They're just fascinating. I mean, the way that they eat things, the way they hide, the way they camouflage. There's just so much about them that you, you don't really realize until you see them up close. They give birth to live young, which a lot of people don't realize as well, so that's an interesting fact. There are a lot of misconceptions about rattlesnakes just because there's not enough education out there about them. People do think that they are out to get you, which they're not. They don't like to be disturbed. They don't want you to know they're there. Often the snakes in this area don't rattle. They, they really want to be quiet. They want you to move past them. So they're really not out to get you. Yes, they can be dangerous, but if you treat them with respect, they're not going to be harmful to you. They're a species that demands some respect.